Hello. God bless you guys. I pray you're having a blessed, wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. Welcome back. It's me again, Crisola for Jesus here. So today we have, I believe it's a rapture dream he sent me. This is actually, um, he posted it onto his Facebook. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and watch this video that he sent. Um, and I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys to click on. Hopefully that link will work. Um, it should be fine, but you know, sometimes you can't share certain, certain links and stuff on YouTube, but hopefully it'll be fine. I'll share the link and, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this, you guys, and see what he experienced. Hey everyone. Um, all right. So I've been watching a lot of rapture dreams on, uh, on Google, um, Google, YouTube, and let, let me, before I even tell you what my dream was last week, which my family does know, um, if you're not religious, you need to get religious, okay? It, it might be too late, maybe not, I don't know. Um, I know that some of you non-believers out there think that Christians are kooks and we're the enemy, but we're not the enemy. Okay, we don't hate anyone. We don't hate transgenders. We don't hate gay people. Um, we don't particularly like how you're forcing it on us. And we don't particularly like how you're doing it to our children. But a book that was written 2,000 years ago described all this. Not like in crazy detail. Don't like say uh, there will be a bunch of transgenders all over the road. Um <laughs> but it, it, it really did say that the world was going to go this way. So how a book that was written 2,000 years ago got it right, and you still don't believe, I don't know. Um, please, for the love of God, please stop being stubborn. Get to know the Lord. Get to know Jesus. That's your only way you're going to get to heaven. And it's close. I'm telling you, like, there's... There, do your own research, but like, there, there's actually a very, uh, uh, it's long, it's like two hours, but there's a very compelling video out there called Messiah 2030, I believe, um, about a seven year tribulation period that might start this year. Um, I saw that. It was it's, pretty interesting. It's, it's close, guys. It really is. And I don't, I don't want any soul to go to hell. No soul, like none. Not even one. Um, please, just stop being stubborn. Stop considering us to be the enemy. We're not the enemy. Uh, we're not doing anything wrong. We we They're painting us out to be the enemy. But it says it in the Bible. You will be hated for my namesake. Does that sound familiar? Does it sound like that's going on right now to Christians? You'll be hated for my namesake. We are hated for believing in Christ. Hated. What's going on right now? Um, a lot of Bible, uh, a lot of uh, rapture dreams start off very eerie similar ways, in including mine. Um, and when I had mine, I haven't really been watching rapture dreams until this week, until after my dream Um and Glenda, my sister, was telling me about stuff. So I don't want anyone to think, oh, you might have just had that dream because you uh, were watching videos about it. No, I didn't watch any rapture dreams until mine happened. Yeah. Um, me and Glenda were sitting... Not sitting. We were standing in a... I don't know where it was. A house building something. Um, I just remember she was there. And... All of a sudden... Maybe she was there because... Glenda, for those who don't know, my sister... Um, has become very religious. Uh, it's been like almost a year now. I think she said October when she had a dream and... Uh, just felt like an awakening. And again, God said he's going to do that to his children. He's going to give, there'll be dreams of uh, the rapture. Um, and a lot of people are having them now. A lot. Um, 
she got woken up a few months back. And so maybe that's why she was there. I don't know. But we were in some kind of a building. And all of a sudden, and a lot of them start out this way if you watch Rapture Dreams. Uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful day, like a blue sky day, uh, just a normal day. And all of a sudden, like a, a wall like disappeared. And you could see outside. Um, and it went from a beautiful day to like, I'm talking about within seconds, dark gray black clouds just started swirling in, just rolling in. And I remember in the dream looking at Glenda, uh, looking over at Glenda and she said, he's coming, he's coming. And I walked outside with her and we could look around and all this, there were like, it almost felt like we were near a beach. Um, I saw hundreds, maybe thousands of people. And everyone looked up at the same time, and I just saw everyone's hands going up. And I remember thinking in the dream, like, what are they doing? And Glenda again yelled out, he's coming. And all of a sudden, the sky split, okay? And there was the Lord. I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm not joking, okay? There's think I'm crazy all you want. Think I'm a, a weirdo, but for those who are watching this, you, you know me, so I'm, uh, I'm not a weirdo. I'm just a Christian. <laughs> um, the sky split, and there was God, and I could only see, in mind, from what, from what my memory was, I could only see, like, his upper torso up, and his arms, and his arms were, like, both of them were, were out, as in, like, to gather and his, fa his face looked uh, there was a beard um, I knew it was Jesus okay uh, I, I could and he was looking back and forth slowly um, and then I threw my hands up and everyone's hands were thrown up and then I woke up <clears throat> so What's extremely eerie also about this is, for those who don't know, there's some kind of a shroud that was located, um, shroud of uh, Turin or something like that. And I guess Glenn had told me Turin is the like the, the, the country or city it was found in. I don't know. But um, this shroud uh, is rumored to be the shroud that was on Jesus Christ when he was buried. Um, and this shroud has an image of a face on it, if you guys haven't seen it yet. Just type in Shroud of Turin, T-U-R-I-N, I believe it is, on Google, and you'll see it. Um, there's videos about it, too. But the following day after my dream... I was at, um, I don't know, like a Walmart DC or something, and I uh, started looking around on YouTube, and the video of a Shroud of Turin popped up, and I'm like, okay. So I started watching it. Well, guess what? The image that is implanted into the Shroud of Turin is the exact, exact image of Jesus in my dream in the sky. And get this, I watched that Shroud of Turin video after the dream. Hmm? After, not before. It's not like I saw the video and then I had a dream about it. I had a dream and then I saw a video. A little weird, maybe? Um... It would take, like, they've done tests on it. Uh, they took a, a very, a corner of the left corner or something of the shroud and they did some, uh, date tests and they think it was around like 12, 1300, uh, is when they're saying it is. Um, now that shroud has been, uh, um, it has been, uh, it's, it's, it's been in like two or three different fires. Um, it's been folded a lot. 
Um, it has been uh, fixed in certain areas on the shroud. Um, so I'm guessing the outer part of the shroud is uh, like a patch or something. There's actually patches on the shroud too. You can see it like going all up and down it from like the fire damage. Um, uh, and apparently uh, the only thing that, I, that you know like when you take a picture like it can impose on something or, or whatever um, the only thing that would be like strong enough to impose Jesus' face on the shroud would be like the glory of God that's the only thing I can think of and you're probably hearing that and going oh god this guy's such a he's an idiot he's he's just talking well I don't know what superimposed Jesus' name on that on that shroud um, do I believe that's Jesus' face? Yeah, actually, I kind of do. Um, do I know for sure? No. No. Um, but I, I, I believe it. And it's got, like, um, it, it, the shroud has not been, like, painted or tattooed or anything like that. Uh, if you, you can watch videos on it, and they'll, they'll explain it, how it, it baffles scientists because they don't know how the face got on there. Um... They, they, they've studied the, the actual cloth of it and the time the time frames of, of who would use that cloth and, and the shroud uh, has like blood, it had blood on it too um, and they've tested the blood and they can't say what kind of blood type it is it's like an ancient bloodline or something but um, the shroud you can see um, like blood on the face of the person and the hair on the person from like you know him getting whipped and beaten um so it was weird that i had the rapture dream and then i saw the video of the shroud and the and the and the face on the shroud was the face that i saw in the sky so um everyone else is posting these videos i thought i'd give it a post too uh to let you know we're running out of time a lot of weird stuff's going on the antichrist system is coming into play uh, a book that was written again 2,000 years ago was, was talking about a one world government a one world currency, a one world this one world, and that's what we're doing that's what we're trying to do, and we're close to everything um, the Antichrist is alive, he has not been shown yet, but if I'm if my theology is correct and the rapture is pre-tribulation, it's either pre or post, no one knows People will say, people who believe it's post-tribulation will swear on it um, and, and, and show biblical verses, but then there are people that will swear on the pre-tribulation and, so, and show biblical verses. So, um, and yes. The That's crazy to me because I think that um, there are so many verses that show it's pre-tribulation without having to really like say anything like you just read it you know don't say don't ex don't explain anything just read it like how jesus said you know how jesus said to read those scriptures you know like he's just like as in the days of noah were right they were eating drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that noah entered into the ark and it's like, you don't need any kind of explanation for that. It's actually, he just explains it for you. Like, oh, as in the days of Noah, they had no idea everything was going as normal. You know, it's like, as in the days of Lot, right? God's like, hey, I'm going to go down and check it out. You know, because he says, as in the days of Lot were, so shall the coming of the son of man be. He says it right there for you. And then you're like, okay, let me go and check out what happened to Lot. So then you can go back to the beginning and read what happened to Lot. Well, the Lord came down. He said that evil things are happening and he's going to go check it out. He goes and checks it out. He sends his angels. His angels carry Lot out of Sodom because God said, I can do nothing if there are any righteous there, he wouldn't do anything, right? He So they had to be removed. So he removes Lot, which was like the only one. And he, he allowed his family members to go as well. Anybody who would listen to Lot, <laughs> right? So it's like, 
it's right there. It's so simple. It's so easy. It's not, you know, you don't need to be super smart. You just need to read it and trust what God said. It's very, very, very simple to understand. And I don't know, I don't watch other people's channels really. So I don't know what they would say that uh, it's after. I think the only verse that they come to is um, the one where it says that uh, the restrainer is he who now lives will let until he be taken out of the way and the man of lawlessness is revealed. That day shall not come until the falling away comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed. So they quote that scripture and the part that says a falling away, that word apostasy, apostasia just means to depart. So the translation is um, that day shall not come until a departure occurs first <laughs> and that day um, and the man of lawlessness will be revealed. So, there is a departure first when you see it's apostasy, you know? Um, and yeah, that is, you guys can research that if you want, but I think that's the only scripture verse that I think I've heard people try to say that the rapture doesn't happen before the tribulation is because they read that. And that verse that says of falling away it doesn't mean a falling away because there's a different word used for that. So the translation is, it just means um, a departure occurs first, a departure. So it means to depart. So people are going to be departing, like we're going to be departing first and then it's going to happen. But yeah, but um, there's like so many instances in the Bible. It would take a long time to go through all these, but um yeah, so uh, I know. Um, anyways, I'm not here to convince you that it is the pre-tribulation. I don't really need to. I just need to tell you that you need to be ready. No matter what you want to believe, you need to be ready. So, The Bible it can be interpreted so many different ways. Uh there is only one interpretation, though. You can't interpret it in other different ways. You have to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. There is only one truth, and that is the truth of Jesus. So make sure that you are following Jesus and the interpretation that God gives you, right? Because it's not up to ourselves for our and own interpretation. <laughs> There's only one truth. Um, but... As of right now, the world, the way it's going with how disgusting it is and what they're doing to our children and the transgender movement, um, the AI stuff, uh, they're talking about aliens now a lot, um, uh, whistleblowers coming out and talking about ships that have been located and found and they're in the government property. and. This one whistleblower said, uh, um, and it's someone who worked in, in the high, uh, high up government, um, at one point was saying that, uh, there are pilots from these craft that have been located. Do I think aliens are real? No, but I think they're demon. I think they're demonic. Um, is it possible that there are aliens? Maybe. I don't know. But I still think they're demonic in some way. Um, but people are starting to come out now, and they're, they're trying to groom us to think that the aliens are okay, um, and that that's just another way of life, just like they're doing with transgenderism in this movement and LGBTQ plus ABC alphabet soup. Um, they're trying to make it just normal. And if they can convince us if Satan can convince us that that uh, aliens are, are norm, you know, yeah, they're out there, so what? 
when millions of people disappear from a rapture, it's going to be explained as alien abductions. That's a mass alien abduction. I mean, that's that's probably what's going to happen. I don't know for sure, but I know you, you, you're again, you're thinking, oh, he's, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's just spitting out nonsense. No, no, I'm not. Uh, well, maybe I could be. I don't know. But I don't think I am. Um, <laughs> because I have the Holy Spirit guiding me, for one. That's why I'm making this video. I wasn't, I, I'm sitting there, a, a, a shipper that I, I'm already loaded and I should be on my way, but something told me I had to make this video. Um, you need to get right. You're running out of time. Like, do it now. Repent, accept the Lord, accept Jesus. I was going to say read the Bible, but I, I can't. It's going to sound. It's, it's like I'm calling myself dumb, which I guess I am. I can't follow the Bible that well. It's it's hard. It is. It's it's hard for me to follow a book like that. I'm, I'm not much of a reader anyway. I mean, if it's not Where's Waldo, I don't really want to read it. Um. I try. I, I try to. I try to read passages uh, when I can. Um, it's if you can, if you, if you, if it interests you, if you love books, you need to read it. You, you know, and you need to get out of whatever bad ways you're in, and don't love this world. This is this world is not what you're here for. I mean, you're here for it now, but you you, you should be striving for eternal life, not this life. Uh, if you love this world the way it is, there's a problem with that. There's a huge problem with that. Um, I make good money. Um, I, I, I can support my, I make six figures a year. I'm not boasting. I'm just saying I make good money. So for those of you that think, um, all the people that have all the money, uh, are, are the happiest and really love this world. No, I don't. I'm 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 happy because I believe in God and I love my family, but I'm not happy to be here. Money doesn't make me happy. It makes me happy that I can do things for my friends and family, but I don't care about the money. All right, I don't care about. I love my job, I love my company, but I don't I don't care about um, worldly things. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't care about all this sinful, you know, acts, and it, it, it makes me want to throw up. Actually, it really does. It makes me sick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this now and say, please, if you're watching this, get right, because it literally could happen anytime. There's like sun stories going on about a, a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can't remember. It's it's from 2023 to 2029. Again, like a seven-year period where the sun is at its maximum, maximum something, sun maximum or something like that, um, where it's going to be causing problems. And again, in the Bible, it states, look up to the skies. There will be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars. Come on, guys. It's It should be obvious. So stop treating it like it's not and join me, join us get right love you amen, glory to God I wonder if he's like a truck driver or something I don't know, but um, <laughs> yeah, amen and uh, thank you so much for sending in your dream, brother I really appreciate it and uh, you know it's the same thing for me. Like I, uh, I didn't pay attention to the rapture stuff until I had a rapture dream. I didn't watch rapture dreams or nothing, you know, like I, um, the first time I experienced hearing anything about the rapture was I think 2017. Um, when my husband was watching some stuff about the revelations, 12 sign and the stars and stuff. And, I didn't really pay attention to it at all, but he was getting hyped about stuff. And I'm like, what do you, what, what, what's going on? You know? And, uh, but I didn't really think anything of it that much. I didn't really understand like what he was talking about. And I never, you know, 
went into any details or like asked about it too much or anything, you know, he just was on about something. And, um, and then I just remembered like nothing happened and, uh, he was just like, Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, and, uh, then life went on, you know, <laughs> that was it. And, uh, you know, just distracted with the world and just doing stuff and moving and, um, and then, yeah, all of a sudden, I think it was 2018, uh, at the end of 2018, I had a rapture dream and it was so detailed, so crazy. I'm like, right. And I was saying in the dream, it's the rapture, it's the rapture, the rapture happened. God came and took his people. He's gone, you know? And, uh, so when I woke up from that dream, right, I was just like, whoa. I just had a rapture dream. I just had a rapture dream, right? I didn't even know really what the rapture was. I didn't understand any of that, you know? So that was when I started going on, and this was before I even started my channel, you know? And I was, uh, first I told my husband, you know? And then I started searching YouTube, right, for the rapture and rapture dreams. And I started searching for that and trying to figure that out, you know? And, uh, and then I started watching everybody's videos and, you know, finding people's channels who were talking about the rapture. And, um, yeah, that was how it started. And there's been plenty of you I know that have, um, watched so many rapture dreams and have not had not one so you literally you can't even you could watch a bunch of stuff about testimonies of jesus and stuff and never have a dream about jesus you know and people think like oh yeah you just dream about what you watch and to a point that is true in some cases but um like a rapture dream is from god you know like it's not something that you just get randomly you know, so that's what I wanted to say about that. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. You guys, I pray you're having a blessed, wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. And, uh, if you made it to the end of this video, please leave down below in the comments, um, tacos for Jesus. Cause I just love this cup that I got. Talk about Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. The green's kind of showing funny because of my green screen. But yeah, tacos for Jesus, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.